This Christmas, I am going to challenge you. If you know Jesus as your Savior, I want you to pray about one person in your family or one person who's a friend and make it a point this Christmas to boldly go to that person and share with them the hope and love that we have in Jesus. This is a challenge that you can't run from because it's not coming from me, it's coming from God. Stay tuned for today's edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there for you. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you too. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Thursday before Christmas. As today, I've got a challenge from God for you for this Christmas. I know there's probably people say, uh oh, I don't need a challenge from God. Don't turn off your TV. You know, if it's from God, it's got to be good. So just stay with me. Stay with me. I'll get to that challenge in a little bit. Good to have you with me. Of course, live prayer airs here on my TV 8 every Monday through Friday, 7 to 7 30 in the morning. And of course, this is Christmas week, and we're Counting down to that wonderful day on Saturday when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. We've had great programs this week, and tomorrow will be our Christmas special, so you don't want to miss it. Please tune in. I know it's going to be a blessing to you and your family. Of course, I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people every day via the Internet. Come check us out at Live Prayer. Lots of great, unique content changes daily. There is absolutely nothing there you can buy, even if you want to. <laughs> it's all free. It's just there to bless you, minister to you. We've been online for over 11 years, and I know the reason we've got so many people who are plugged into this ministry on a daily basis is because we're not here for any other reason than to be a blessing to you. So please check us out, liveprayer.com. You know, as we head into this weekend it's kind of a kind of a interesting weekend this sunday will be my last sunday at the new york marriott as you know we started the 911 christian center phase back in september phase 1 was 17 sundays at the new york marriott to kind of get things rolled out and this will be our 17th and final sunday it's been an incredible uh, 4 months in new york and then that sets the stage for phase two. Now, we were originally going to open the permanent home of the 911 Christian Center where we're going to hold services literally seven days a week on January 1st. However, due to the delay in getting a permanent location tied down for lots of reasons, mostly people just harassing us, going after building owners, telling them they're going to blow up the building if they let us hold our services there, just crazy things. We finally tied down our permanent home. And I'm actually going to be holding a major press conference at the Carlisle Hotel, 76 in Madison, on Monday the 27th. That's the Monday after Christmas, the 27th. And there I will be uh, making the formal announcement of the new permanent home of the 911 Christian Center that's going to open April 1st. Uh, we're going to be behind about 90 days just because we need those 90 days to build out the space and get everything ready to go. Uh, we'll be making that announcement of the address at the Carlisle on Monday the 27th. And in addition to that, uh, we'll be making the formal announcement, which I'm going to do right now, that this live prayer television program will start airing on Superstation WWOR, Channel 9 in the New York market. Long time, great Superstation out of that, out of that market. We will be airing this program every Monday through Friday morning, 5 to 5.30 on WWOR. So we're very excited about that. That's actually going to start on January 31st. So we'll have a couple months on air before the opening of the center to promote the center and get people familiar with what we're doing. 
plus on top of all of that, uh, we'll be doing our daily, uh, our normal daily program of dealing with the issues of the day from a biblical worldview. So we've got a lot of things to be thankful for and excited about. And uh, I just want to ask you to continue to pray for us as we prepare to go into phase two and lay the foundation for what I firmly believe is going to be the catalyst to turn this nation back to God and His truth. I firmly believe that. Uh, This isn't a dream. This isn't a good idea. This is faith in action. Faith in action. And I ask you to please pray for us and stand with us. As a matter of fact, I put a special video together uh, to kind of share the vision of the 9-11 Christian Center. It's not very long, but I want you to watch it. And pray as you watch it to catch this vision of what God has called us to do. And I want you to be part of it with me, okay? Watch this and we'll be right back. I'm Bill Keller, founder of Live. Prayer.com. Recently, it was publicized that the Muslims would be building a mosque at Ground Zero. Let me make sure you understand that this was a purposeful and premeditated act. This is not an accident. They already have many mosques in New York City. This was done in a very well-orchestrated way. This mosque at Ground Zero will be a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years, 9-11-2001, when their Muslim brothers flew those planes into the World Trade Center towers. More of their Muslim brothers went into the Pentagon. Others headed to the Capitol were courageously ditched in the fields in Pennsylvania. But make no mistake about it, this mosque at Ground Zero is a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years. It will be a place where they will teach this generation, future generation of Muslims, how to hate this nation, how to turn this nation into a Muslim land, which is their ultimate goal. They will teach people Sharia law, the law that Islam is governed by all over the world. What is our response as Christians? I thought and prayed hard about this. I decided that why hold another rally, another protest march, that a few hours after it over, it was over, everybody would go home and forget about it. Nothing would change. I realize there are many great efforts to try to stop this mosque from being constructed. And while I pray they're effective, and while I pray that they will be successful, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Muslims, with their massive amounts of money, will be ultimately victorious. This mosque will be built. We don't need another protest. What we need is a bold, visible response what the Muslims are about ready to do at Ground Zero. That response is the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We aren't going there with swords. We're going there with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is like Elijah on that wonderful day where he invited the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel and said, let's see whose God answers by fire. Today I issue that same challenge to Imam Faisal Rao, the imam of the Ground Zero Mosque. You bring your false god, I'll bring the god of the Bible, and we will see which god answers by fire. Phase one, we will hold services every Sunday, starting September 5th at 11 o'clock through the end of the year at the New York Marriott, right by Ground Zero. As of January 1st, we'll move into our permanent facility at Ground Zero, where we will hold evangelistic meetings seven days a week. We will have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for visitors to Ground Zero and those who work in the financial district, those who live in, in that area to come and pray. I know that as time goes on, the Muslims will try to silence me. They will try even to kill me. But the gospel won't be stopped. And I need you to help me. 
I need you to stand with me. Many people are outraged by what is about ready to happen at Ground Zero. And people say, how can my voice be heard? You can stand with me and the 9-11 Christian Center. Go to my website, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar, click on the donation link. There is a secure server there where you can give via a major credit card, you can give via PayPal, or you can just drop a check to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can take a stand against this mosque, a meaningful stand, a stand that not only is going to is going to drown out the lies of Islam, but it's going to lead souls to faith in Jesus Christ. I believe it's going to spark a revival in the city of New York, and I believe it's going to turn this nation back to God and His truth. Please, stand with me today. Your voice can be heard. You can make a difference. The 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero is the answer to this mosque and for this nation. I'm Bill Kelly. That's the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. Thank you for praying. Thank you for standing with me as we take on a massive undertaking by faith alone. But I expect to see some great things in the coming months as we put our faith into action. All right. After these breaks, we are going to be coming back with a special challenge from God himself for you this Christmas. Please don't go anywhere. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer, and I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the where the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian center in a block of ground zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open the center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server so you can make a gift with your major credit card or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen. In the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center, and your gift will go to this great undertaking. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the Trade Center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people, is a travesty. People are upset. I'm upset, but we're taking action. Sunday, September 5th. 